slavery has existed thousands of years. The supply of the slaves from Africa was in the hands of the Ashanti people. In 1619, Dutch traders start to convey slaves from Africa to America. This was called the Dutch Triangle. The castle was used to store slaves along with ivory and gold. In those days, slaves were considered as goods. A large number of slaves were taken to the dungeons. Here, the slaves had to wait weeks or even months under unhuman conditions. Man, woman, and children were held separately. There was no hope of returning home. Chained together by their hands and feet, the slaves were taken to the ships to be transported to America and the Caribbean islands. the slave ships, they had to take the last passage to the ships. The door of no return. This is what the captain wrote in his ship diary. The 1st of July, 1784. The crew and I reached West Africa earlier today. We have a cargo of weapons and trinkets, which we will trade for slaves from the Cape Coast castle. Once aboard the ships, the slaves realized that they were being sent far away. The conditions on the slave ships were terrible. The death rate among slaves was very high. Many slaves died on board from diseases. This is another slave castle they visited. It is called Elmina. The castle was taken over by the Dutch in 1637. It remained their headquarters on the Gold Coast. Elmina became an important distribution point for the slaves until the abolition of the slave trade by the Dutch government in 1814. For 300 years, hundreds of thousands of captive slaves passed through the dungeons of Elmina Castle. In 1872, the Dutch government sold its property and claims on the Gold Coast to Britain.
The price for Alina and the Dutch claims was 47,000 guilders.